everyone, Andy here, hope you are well. So I just thought I'd share some uh, footage with you that I saw recently and you might find interesting to see, um, and also quite scary in a way, um, of, um, it was a test of showing an actual drone um, hitting a plane wing. And I think I was quite naive on um, how a drone would impact um, on a plane. I actually thought it wouldn't barely do a thing, so it's quite drastic to actually see um, and, you know, hopefully deters um, certain people who do fly drones. Uh, they may see this footage and think twice when they're actually flying near to um, an aircraft. Uh, you know, you, you, we need to all be keeping by these rules. So the um, test was carried out by the University of Dayton Research Institute. Um, and they actually used a DJI Phantom 2 for this. So this is the first kind of test of this kind because in the past, they've only tested things like individual components, say like um, the battery. Uh, but this is the first time they used an actual, like kind of fully loaded drone to see the effects of the impact. So they used a compressed air cannon, um, and when they shot it out, it came out at 238 miles per hour. And they're saying that that's um, the sort of speed that both the uh, plane wing and a drone would impact, um, let's just say, as the plane is coming to land or take off, um, with the drone being a, a, a obviously an illegal height. As you can see, it's quite dramatic and also quite interesting to see how the drone, I thought it would just completely shatter and break up and fly everywhere, but it doesn't. It, it actually stays intact and it, it embedded itself inside of the airplane wing. It probably has caused quite a lot of damage to the inside internals of the wing. And then what they did out of interest is they did a simulation of a bird impact just to see the difference under the same conditions. Um, and, it, and it showed in a way that a bird strike wasn't as bad as the drone because the bird, it did cause, um, you know, quite bad damage, but it was all surface damage. It doesn't seem to penetrate the wing like the drone did. And that's the problem is that the drone is not just surface damage, they actually damage the internals of the plane. So thanks everyone for watching, um, I hope this is quite informative for you. Uh, I know it's quite dramatic but at the same time I think it's good to show these things because hopefully um, you know, people see this um, and I know it might give drones still a bad name and the problem is there are people out there who are giving drones a bad name, so in a way by showing this hopefully it does deter them because they're quite naive and thinking, you know what, I can fly my drone near the airport, it's not going to do anything, it's just going to splatter and not do anything. No, it can cause some quite serious damage, so it's all something good for us to see, um, you know, and it just backs up the reason why these rules are in place and we should all abide them. Thanks everyone for watching and um, if you're new to my channel uh, please feel free to subscribe and uh, click the little bell icon to keep up to date with future videos and before you go why not check out one of the videos that will be popping up uh, somewhere here or here, um, down there, down there at this moment in time. See you all again soon, thanks for watching again, bye.